This is King 5, first alert weather. I'm wondering if Rebecca has ventured outside. Oh, she has no. not. <laughs> it's just heat, Rebecca. I, you know, but we're just surrounded by cement out there on the weather deck, and it just got even hotter than the actual air temperature actually is. And let me take a moment to wish you all a happy National Rainier Cherry Day. Highly recommend these fresh out of the refrigerator if your head's not already in the refrigerator to try to cool off. These are really good, nice and cool. Only available here in the summertime through early August. Named after Mount Rainier. Ah, it's a Northwest sweet, tasty treat and especially nice on a hot day like today. Oh boy, a lot of us trying to find a way to cool down. We are so hot we started out with a all-time warm record low temperature in Seattle of 68 degrees. That's where Seattle started today. And right now, the Seattle waterfront at 96 degrees, falling barometric pressure, winds out of the north-northwest at 10 miles an hour. 96 right now in Bellevue. Northwesterly winds, 12 miles an hour, and humidity low, 24%. 96 at SeaTac, 22% humidity. And the official high today for SeaTac, 97, which breaks the record of 95 set in 1951. We also had a record set in Olympia and also an all-time record for Bellingham. High temperatures across our western Washington area in the 90s. Triple digit Shelton, 100 degrees, 96 right in uh, at Renton. And we cooled off quickly on the coast. Now the highs were in the 80s in the coast early today, and then we started to cool off into the 60s as marine air moved in. Our pollen count, grasses shot to high today, and weeds were moderate, tree pollen low. Now tonight, mostly clear skies, temperatures staying pretty mild. The central and south sound mainly in the 50s to low 60s. I'm going to go back here to the north sound, see if we can get those temperatures to pop back in for you. Oh, no such luck. So let's move on now. And let me just say that temperatures are mainly going to stay in through the 70s and low 80s to about midnight before we feel the cooling coming in for the morning hours and will only be in the 50s and 60s. 60s. Satellite picture, you can see we have some high clouds working up from the south. Now this is from a little bit of thunderstorm activity that's ha been happening in central Oregon, but I think we'll just see some high clouds floating through at times from the south. Ultimately what's happening is our ridge of high pressure is shifting a little bit farther east, allowing the trough of hot air, that core of hot air, to start to move east as well. It's been sitting directly over us today, and as it moves eastward, the cooler marine air starts to filter in. First on the beaches, that's already happening right now, and eventually we'll start to feel that cooling tomorrow afternoon, just a few degrees at a time. Here's what we've got for you. Temperatures tomorrow on the coast, upper 60s to around 70. Cloudier to start, but a little bit of sun for the afternoon. Cooler in the mid to upper 80s for the southwest interior. Vancouver still around the low 90s, mostly sunny. Winds mainly out of the south-southwest, up to about 20 for the Puget Sound in the afternoon. The north interior expecting temperatures tomorrow to be in the 70s and 80s, right around 80 for the San Juans, still in the mid to upper 80s for places like Arlington and Everett. The central and south sound, still a lot of sunshine, but maybe a few high clouds coming up from the thunderstorms from the south. Temperatures in the mid to upper 80s tomorrow, still in the low 90s in the foothills. And I did mention thunderstorms. We do have a slight chance of those in the mountains tomorrow. Winds will be light in the passes. Heat advisory continues for eastern Washington. That hot air headed east taking temperatures up to 106 for Moses Lake, 102 for Walla Walla. And for our five-day forecast, Friday will still be mostly sunny, slightly cooler in the low 80s. Cooling even more on Saturday, but early in the morning we have a potential of a shower or thunderstorm. We'll have a chance of mountain thunderstorms again on Sunday. Temperatures continuing to cool off as onshore winds strengthen. Monday drier, but it looks like we're going to get brushed by a few disturbances in the long-range trend. And that will help to keep temperatures closer to normal in the 70s. So in the meantime, it is hot out there. Hopefully you have some nice cool rainier cherries or some popsicles or ice cubes even. Okay, and of course the fans. And the fans work too. We can see the relief down. Thank you, Rebecca. <laughs>